Friends, it's time for another disturbing adventure. Today we are playing a psychological horror game called It's Just a Prank, and it's about a group of children who pull a prank that goes completely wrong. I haven't read anything else about the game other than the premise, so we are going in blind. But before that, I had a topic I really wanted to discuss with you guys today. I wanted to talk a little bit about bravery. When you think of a brave character, what are the first that come to mind? Maybe someone like Superman, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, any of the Resident Evil cast? Samus? I mean, of course, right? Samus isn't afraid of anything. However, when I think of someone that's brave, the first character that comes to my mind is this. Courage the Cowardly Dog from the Cartoon Network show. So how is a character that literally has cowardly in his name brave? To me, bravery isn't never being afraid of anything. It's feeling immense amounts of fear about a certain situation and persevering nonetheless. Courage is afraid of basically everything he encounters, yet he faces it every single time. Maybe that's you. Maybe you struggle with all sorts of different anxieties and fears, yet here you are persevering and facing those fears. And I think that is pretty brave. I love you guys and I hope you're safe. With that being said, here is It's Just a Prank. The game gives its own warning, but before we start, I do want to just let you know, in the description or the comments, I'm going to put some additional trigger warnings that I think are relevant to this game. Please read them before starting. Thanks. This game has red flag vocabulary, cussing, dead animals, puke, chopped off limbs, and other nasty stuff. We warned you. Okay, well they did warn us. Okay, and we start the game... Immediately? Good morning! Eat up! Is this... She... Kicks our bowl of cereal under the door? That doesn't seem normal to me. Okay, let's take a look around the room before we eat. We have posters, magazines, looks like a normal kid's room, I guess. Books, a desk, backpack. So we're a kid in school, right? But why does something feel so weird? I mean, she said good morning. I don't know, I'm confused already. Johan, I'll be out soon. You get dressed and come outside. Okay. I imagine that's my friend. I don't know whether or not it's a school day, but we might as well get dressed. I like how the game just kind of throws you right into it. You don't even have time to process what's going on. You're already eating cereal and running out the door. And I guess we just turn upside down. If we're grabbing our backpack, it's probably a school day. Okay, wait a minute. Here goes Big Gaming talking about the lighting again, but... I mean, look at this. The graphics are very, you know, PlayStation 1, kind of PlayStation 2-ish, almost like in between. But does this just scream early morning waiting for the bus? Like, it's that kind of soft light almost. And it's shockingly accurate and shockingly pretty for such a low fidelity game, which again... Low fidelity was the artistic choice here, but the lighting is just unbelievable. I got so much awesome stuff yesterday. You're gonna go nuts. What is this? Missing. We totally have to get back at Agatha for yesterday. We'll win it back. Are there a lot of like missing posters? Man, I can't wait until school. Guess what? I got a boombox. No way! So we're Philip. Dude. That's pretty cool. That's epic! I can't get over the way the lighting looks in this game. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, I know. I'm gonna get comments. Big gaming about the lighting again. Is that car supposed to be there? I don't know. Um, maybe it is. By the way, we had guests over last night. They brought our favorite strawberry cupcakes. I do like that. Wow, did you save one for me? Yeah, sure I did. But I ended up eating it while you were busy at home. You little brat. I promise I'll get you a whole box one day. I mean it. Sure, I'll believe it when I see it. 
This doesn't really feel like a horror game at the start, but I have a feeling it's really going to go in a sinister direction. Do we just go inside? Okay. Check this out. What is that? Holy crap. Quick, let's put it on Gustas's chair. Oh, it's a whoopee cushion. Dude. Look at the light on the desk. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. I've seen it before, though. I've seen it. It it really does immerse you in the experience. Oh. <laughs> what? Is, what is that face? Dang, Gustas farted. Nice one, Philip. Agatha is next on our list. Okay, whoopee cushion. Harmless prank, right? Agatha, I heard about your behavior yesterday. But I was just... Enough. I don't want to hear any excuses. I'll be calling your father. He'll deal with you. I don't have time for this. Well, she's being very dismissive. Not another word. Moving on. Gabriel Drobny, present. Present. Gustas Klein. Present. He's not in a good mood. Philip's present, of course. That's us. Johan. Olga's here as well. Great, everyone's accounted for. Today we will continue learning about multiplication. Oh. Jump scare. Check out what else I brought. Wow, can I try? Nah, it's for the prank. I like the facial expressions in this game. Give this to Agatha. Okay. So... I'm sure some of us have been in that situation where I'm sure Agatha's a good kid and it seems like the teacher is being very dismissive of her and just kind of like berating her when maybe Agatha didn't do anything wrong and never had a chance to explain herself. That can be like a really crushing feeling, especially in school, especially with figures that you're supposed to trust, you know, like your teachers. And, you know, sometimes with your parents, this can happen too. It's tough when you're not, you don't feel heard, like no one's listening to you. And I imagine that's extremely discouraging for her right now. But we'll see what direction the game goes in. Here's the soda. Hey, you want some soda? No. No, yeah, she's not in a good mood. Come on, give it a try. Philip. Did you tell the teacher about what happened? Nope. So it was Johan, wasn't it? Great, now my dad's going to freak out on me. I wonder what happened. Philip, this is going to be a disaster. Please, can you help me out of this mess? I wonder what happened. How? If my dad calls, can you say Johan made it all up? Okay, I'll do it. Thanks a ton, Philip. You're a lifesaver. Now hand over that soda. The facial expressions are... Yeah, she got sprayed. They shook it up. You jerk! The classic soda prank. Papa Mentos in there. Be right back. Wait for me, okay? Sure, wait for me. I'll be a grandpa before he gets back. I can't come with you guys today. I need to get home quickly. Don't forget, tell my dad Johan lied or I'll be in big trouble. I got it. Don't worry. Thanks, Philip. Maybe they're actually friends? I don't know. The thing is, even harmless pranks, like, you know, a whoopee cushion or something. Dude, it's been ages. No way. Are we waiting for Agatha? I'll get back to that point in a second. And now... Okay, so, even harmless pranks, if you keep picking at a person and picking at a person, even with small little jabs, like, you know, little pranks like that, it can, it can really, it can really get at people. Because that's just like, you know, habitual teasing. So what, we get, we get punished too. They're talking about the, them getting in trouble. He's going to be really harsh on her. Don't sweat it. She wants me to tell him you made it all up. Tell who exactly? Her dad? I do like their backpacks. What's up? Yeah, why isn't Johan talking? Don't mention my name to him. Why not? I've had issues with him before. 
But what about Agatha? She'll be okay. He's her dad. Issues. Parents don't go too hard on their kids. That's not true at all. Maybe he'll just yell at her. That's all. Don't bother. She's a strong girl. I don't know, man. What do you mean, issues? What issues did Johan have with her dad? Oh, that's such a creepy shot. Philip, who matters more to you, me or her? I don't like that question. Bobear! A capybara? What? Um... What was that? Okay, wait, where are we going? This way? I don't understand. I, I have absolutely no idea what just happened. Okay, that was odd. My father once made me do something, but my stupid mom left it behind. I can't, it's too fast. Wait, what, what was the point of that scene? It's fine, I'll make myself a new one. I've already practiced on some rats. Yeah, those rats smelled awful. You smell awful. You're just jealous of my natural cologne. Ugh. I don't like how serious Johan got when he asked that question, though. Maybe that silly capybara scene was just to break up the tension. All right, no calls today. Got things to handle. See ya. All right, is this my house? I assume it is. Looks familiar. In we go! You know what I'm gonna say. Man, um... I, I really feel, especially with that last scene, I, I, I think we're headed in a sinister direction. You must be starving, sweetie! Another bowl of cereal! Why is she just passing it through the door? I don't- I don't get it. That- that doesn't seem normal at all. Is that little bad person really spreading rumors? Sorry, who are you talking about? What's that scumbag's name? Johan. Didn't that kid learn his lesson last time? I'm gonna smack. Oh. Did this little kid lie and now I have to deal with this stuff? Okay. Well, her dad has some serious issues. Why are you so quiet? Wanna get your butt kicked too? I'm trying to censor this. Agatha made it up, I swear. Oh, dude. Dude. Okay, her father is a sick, sick man. Good lord. Dude, no. There, there, there's something wrong with her dad. Her dad is extremely abusive. I'm really worried about Agatha now. There, there, there was something so haunting about hearing that scream through the phone. No music or sound or anything. That's just disturbing. I may have had to censor one of the words as well. Bro, you won't believe what happened. Get out quick, I need to tell you in person. Oh god. Remember when I was talking about the game taking a sinister turn? Well, it looks like I might have hit the nail on the head. Let's get out of here. It's absolutely insane. What happened? 
A massive rock smashed through my window. Are you serious? And some dude was outside, screaming his lungs out. Mother went to handle it for once she actually did something helpful. Dude, Johan, you are... I don't like you. You'll never guess who it was. Who was it? It was Agatha's dad. Of course. Philip, did you snitch on me to him? You better tell me, man. I'll find out sooner or later. Uh, we actually didn't. It's all Agatha. I told you yesterday, remember? He called me, and I told that Agatha made up the whole thing. This is sick. All right, I trust you, bro. Seems like that drunk's out for revenge. Luckily, this rock didn't hit me. Whatever. I'm not that easy to scare. That's right. Yeah, I just, I had a feeling, Agatha, there was something going on. Imagine having a terrible home life and then going to school where you're also treated badly by other students and the teacher. Oh, and guess what? I caught a rat yesterday. How? Got it in one of those traps I set. Had some fun with it before I, you know, finished it off. Oh yeah, this, this kid is deranged. Get this kid on a list. Bet it smelled awful again, right? Nah, it didn't stink. It smelled kind of sweet, actually. Get Johan on a list. Did they cut off your water again? Nah, it's just my natural aura overshadowing yours. Okay. Dude, you got some major, major issues, dude. He's like a manipulator, too. Look, he left his juice behind. What flavor do you have? Tomato. Ugh, tomato? Was it on sale or something? I suppose. Wait, I've got a brilliant idea. Let's switch your gross juice with his. It'll be hilarious. Gustas can't stand tomato juice. He'll freak out. And you get a decent drink for a change. Sounds like a plan. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Alright, we just... Throw it right down. Oh man, I feel so bad for her. Are you alright? Yeah, he doesn't like the tomato juice. Maybe you should go home and rest. It's just the juice. Yeah, ugh. Oh, you poor thing. Let me help you clean that up. This teacher's... Nice. Is it, is it the same teacher? I don't remember what the other teacher looks like. Alright, let's continue. Gustas? Present. We're here, of course. And the troublemaker's with us as well. Everyone's here. Great. Let's go over today's lesson. Okay. Writing in our books. Uh. Psst, Philip. Bet you can't hit Panny three times with the paper ball. If she stands still, I got this. I mean, we're literally right there. Sweet. Okay. Children, don't mess around, please. This seems like a nice teacher. I'm not sure if it's the same teacher, though. Oh, she's mad. I tolerated your dumb jokes because I thought you had a bit of decency. Oh, man, she... Every single day is just misery and disappointment. Oh my gosh. I thought at least here I could find some peace with you little brats. These pranks are pushing people to their breaking point, but you're just as heartless as the rest of the world. I'm done with this place forever. That's what can happen. Like, you don't know what someone's going through during a day, and those little jabs and little picks can... You know, be the straw that broke the camel's back. Bro, I need you to keep Agatha busy while I pull off this awesome prank. Dude, no. Can we please leave her alone? Hey, Agatha, what's up? Did you catch those cartoons on TV last night? Nope. 
The TV's for dad only. I missed it too. Cartoons are kind of childish anyway. That's disturbing. Hey, Agatha, your dad, he's really scary. Yeah, I know. That doesn't sit well with me at all. Class is starting soon. We better get back to our seats. Dude, that's the prank? Are you kidding me? That was hilarious, right? No, it's not funny at all. Dude, these jokes aren't funny, man. What? What is your problem? Who the hell drove Panny out of here? Oh, no, this was the original teacher. What in the world is this? Agatha, remove that thing from your desk immediately. She didn't put it there. Agatha, are you deaf or something? I think I'm having an asthma attack. Oh, yeah, she had her inhaler. Where's her inhaler? These kids will be the death of me. Awful teacher. Philip, you live near Agatha, right? Take her home. Let her father handle it. Oh, I, I, I hate this situation so much. I love the story. The rat prank, it went too far. Yeah, Johan really crossed the line. I had no idea he'd do that. Yet we helped him. You okay? Yeah, it's fine. What about your asthma attack? It was a gross rat, but I've dealt with worse. Dude, Johan needs... Oh my god. You faked the asthma attack? I didn't want to be there while everyone got chewed out over Pani Vishnevska. I think I said that right. I'm so sorry, Agatha, for everything you're going through. Want to go play instead? But Pani said to take you home. I really don't want to go home. It's because of her dad. Come on, let's go play. You owe me for the rat prank anyway. And for all that other stuff, too. What do you say? Look how serious things get. Oh, this is Johan wearing a capybara mask? I see that Agatha looks fine. She's already laughing. I was going to say sorry for the rat, but now... It's never too late to apologize. Agatha, darling, it was just a joke. I didn't mean to hurt you. Besides, your dad broke my window with a rock. Consider the rat prank as a payback. I feel so uncomfortable. I know a perfect spot to hang out. You coming? I like the story where Superman is walking through a neighborhood and he hears a kid crying out for him. And he goes into the house and he finds out the kid's being like hit by his father and he stops the dad. Love that story. I wish that happened in this game. You'll get it when you're older. That does not mean he just cares about you. We've all dealt with that. I'm saving up to get away from my stupid mother and go live with my dad in town. What about us, dude? You guys want to come with me? Dude, look at this! I'd love to see the city. Can you really take us with you? Definitely. I have an idea. Dude, look at this. How about a game of hide and seek? Not it. Not me either. Darn. Go stand by the tree and count. And the reality of the situation is... All three of these children probably have terrible home lives in different ways. We don't know exactly what's going on with Johan, but he complains a lot about his mother in a very rude way. But... It normally does start at the home, you know? It really does. Just something about that... That scene where we had the phone in our hands and we're just listening to Agatha screaming. Just something about that. Gotcha! Alright, we gotta find Agatha now. Something about that really... freaks me out. Doesn't sit right with me. It's a book? Why is there a book here? She buy the old car, doesn't look like it. 
Agatha, I know you're not gonna come out because I'm calling you, but still... Where are you? Is this a path, or is this... Nope. Okay, so there's one. Oh, wait a minute. I bet she's somewhere over here. Agatha, under the boat. Where is she? Here? Yes, she was in the scarecrow. That's actually a really good hiding spot. Not it again, not it either. I don't want to be it. Come on, it's no big deal. Yeah, Johan will be it next time. I'll be fair. No way I'm not. Okay, so now we gotta hide? Um... I mean, we can try this boat here. Are we... Hold up, something's not right. Better check it out. What do you mean? Something's wrong? What did you do? What did you do? What the hell, Johan? Did you seriously tie her shoes? It's just a prank, bro. She'll be up in a second. Dude, no, she's not moving. She's not breathing, Johan. This isn't cool at all. Your jokes are going too far. What now? Johan, we need to get an adult. Now. Stay with her. I'm getting Pani. He's in shock. He's in shock. Dude. You couldn't let up for even a second. One of those little pranks was bound to end in disaster. <sighs> that sounds familiar. Run to the school to get Pawnee. She's not going to care, though. The only teacher that actually cared left. Pani, quick! Agatha fell and hit her head on a rock! What kind of scumbag you have to be, Philip, to do this to me? To do what? It was an accident! She's hurt! We need help! I'm sick of your jokes. No one believes them. You've already pushed Pani to the edge. Now I'm stuck with all these classes because of you. Pani, please. I don't give a hoot. Do you even realize what you've done? I'm begging you. I'm sorry. Just please help us. Another one of your jokes. I won't even try to make sense of it. You're staying in class. Think about what you've done. Word I won't repeat. The guard will let you out at the end of the day. Oh, dude. P please don't. Not another word. All these pranks every day, day in and day out. The boy who cried wolf. And now we have to check on Johan. It's night time now. Oh my god. Don't even recognize the place. I heard someone cough. Johan? This is like... A new kind of horror. I really hope they're okay. I have to call Johan as soon as I get home. Dude, she wasn't moving. She wasn't moving. What was that noise? What is that noise? But why? For what? Who 
Who's in that car? I'm so confused, but we gotta get home. It doesn't matter. Hello? Where's that mo- Wait, is this my house? There's a dog there. Okay, now it's it's further up. I'm sorry, my mind's all over the place. I'm just like... I don't know how they're gonna wrap this up. <sighs> okay. I should call Johan. Please pick up. Why isn't he home yet? You boys must be starving. I brought you some food. Boys? It's just me. Who do you mean? Isn't Johan with you? What? He said he'd wait for you in your room. Oh my god, we were the only witness. No way. The inhaler. Her inhaler. Did he go into shock and... Good morning! Eat up! Maybe our mom isn't... all bad. I guess. I don't know. It just seemed weird. Who is this? Johan, is that you? Johan, seriously, if this is a joke, cut it out. Dude, that's not funny. Why is Agatha's inhaler here? This is so weird. Oh. Sweetie, hurry up, you'll be late, and Johan will go to school without you. Where's my backpack? Oh, it's still in the woods, I think. Where is he? It's strange, Johan's never late. I'll give him a few more minutes. So he was just in my room for a little bit? Where the hell is Johan? He must have left without me. I'm late. All right, go. I have absolutely no idea how this is going to end. I don't know why Johan was in my room. And here's this car again. Facing a different direction this time. Okay, whatever. Maybe it's not anything I need to worry about. <sighs> Let's see what happens when we get to the school. Figure out what's going on. Look who finally decided to grace us with his presence. Show some respect and enter the classroom properly. Sorry I'm late, may I come in? Fine, get in here. Are you kidding me? There's something in the chair. It hurts. What? What a disaster. It's everywhere. You'll clean this up after school. Get to the infirmary now. We'll patch you up. What did I just sit on? Oh, a nail. Don't think that's getting you out of trouble. You're staying after school to clean this mess. What, my blood? Understood. Good lord. Alright, let's see who's absent today. Dude. Dude. I can't move, we're just staring at the empty chair. Johan's not here either. 
Dude, what happened? Now we're starting to go in shock. We stayed after class. Why does this always happen to me? What was that? I thought I heard one of the chairs move. Hey, Chester. Hello? I thought I just heard someone cough. Agatha? She has asthma. Agatha! Someone's hiding. Oh! Who is that? Get, go, go, go! I'm- I'm not con- I'm controlling the guy, like, in the background. Dude, this is such a terrifying perspective. I imagine that's Johan chasing me. Maybe he thinks I'm the only witness to what happened. Dude, what? Why is that car there? Why is this car here? Is that a letter? Mom's note read, gone to the night shift, sweetie. Don't be up too late. I don't understand why there's a car here. I can't open my closet? Oh, great. What the? Who's there? It's us! What the heck are you doing here? I swear I locked the door. Your mom let us in earlier, said we could wait. So, is Agatha with you? Bro, are you okay? We've been worried, man. Listen, we really need to apologize for what happened today. We were mad about yesterday, so that's no excuse. What the hell are you talking about? You bailed and left us to handle the fallout. You ditched us, Philip. Ditched? I ran to get Pani. I begged her for help, but she punished me instead. Punished me for your prank. Come on, we had fun. Fun? Like tying Agatha's shoelaces? Or leaving a dead rat on her desk? It was all in good fun. No, it wasn't. Your pranks terrify me, Johan. They aren't funny. I... I don't want to be friends with you anymore. You're cruel, and your pranks always get me in trouble. And where's Agatha? Is she okay? She's right here, Philip. Can we come in? That was not Agatha. We brought your favorite cupcakes. Strawberry. A whole box. To make up for everything. Where's Agatha? Didn't you hear her? She needs to pee. You'll see her soon. Look, your favorite strawberry cupcakes. Open it up. I think... I think that was Agatha cut up and put into a box as Johan's final disgusting prank after he went into shock and completely lost it. I am on board for their next project, absolutely. Um, man, did that game go in a sinister direction. Man, was it so effective at what it did. Excellent stuff. Sad, sad story. And honestly, there's a good lesson in here, too. Even if it seems like something harmless, you know, little digs, little pranks can add up or things can go horribly wrong. So just, you know, it's always better to just treat those around you with kindness anyways. This was an excellent horror experience. Excellent creepy thriller experience as well. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I love you all very much. Please be safe. And I will see you in the next one.